A responsive wallpaper in Flexitive begins like any other Flexitive page. First, we'll enter a title. Then we'll select the blank canvas template. We'll go to the Sizes panel, go to Responsive, In-Page, Portrait, and we'll begin with a 2 by 3 This is the widest size that the responsive wallpaper will take up. We're going to build this creative like we would any other Flexitive creative by setting a background color, uploading our assets, and then placing our assets on the canvas. I won't go into any detail here because building a responsive wallpaper page works exactly the same way as building any other Flexitive page. Now that we've created the 2 by 3, the next step is to build out the 1 by 2. Now we'll build out the 1 by 3. As we build out more sizes, the 1 by 4, the 1 by 5, etc., you'll notice that we have to make fewer and fewer adjustments because a 1 by 4 is more similar to a 1 by 5 than say a 2 by 3 is to a, a 1 by 2. So building out the rest of the sizes for the responsive wallpaper will only take a few minutes. The last aspect ratio that we're going to build out is the 1 by 8. And you'll notice that we're going to hide some elements from the 1 by 8 because it is so narrow. We've hidden Sorry Not Sorry and Netflix and Original Series from the 1x8 because the 1x8 is so narrow that that text will be very difficult to read when the 1x8 is being displayed. Now that we've finished building all of the aspect ratios for the responsive wallpaper, we'll add some animations. And we're going to add animations just like we would in any other Flexitive page. Now that we've added animations, we can preview the animations across all of the different sizes we've activated, all the way from 2x3 through to 1x8. So far, we've just built the left side of the wallpaper. We also need to build the right side. Here's the completed right side, which is built exactly the same way as the left side. Now that we've built the left side of the wallpaper and the right side of the wallpaper, we can preview what the wallpaper is going to look like. You can see that the wallpaper is fully responsive, 100% in view, and responds to any screen size, resolution, or aspect ratio. When designing responsive wallpapers, you should think about what elements you want to be in view at all times. In our case, we have the image of the characters on the can that's always in view. And when we went to a very narrow aspect ratio, the 1 by 8, we actually chose to hide both the sorry not sorry text and the Netflix original series text because the text wouldn't fit in such a narrow aspect ratio. So think about what elements you always want to be in view and then make sure that they're in view across the various aspect ratios. But don't feel that every aspect ratio has to show exactly the same elements. If you're in a very narrow aspect ratio, you're going to want to hide some of those elements from that aspect ratio.